I'm Herbert Lepore. I'm professor and Martin Spatz Chair of Urology at NYU Langone Health. So I treat exclusively prostate cancer. So prostate cancer uh, is quite a broad spectrum. Uh, it uh, entails uh, diagnosing the disease, uh, at times treating it surgically, and then following uh, men uh, throughout their uh, lifetime. So this is very difficult for men, right? Everyone wants to be cured of their disease, and nobody wants uh, the complications of the, of the treatment. And what I found, and we've actually published, that patient satisfaction in prostate cancer care is really determined by having an appropriate expectation of outcomes. So I performed over 5,000 radical prostatectomies uh, in my career. We have over 2,500 of these men in a very, very rigorous outcomes assessment that now spans almost 20 years. So I can tell that patient precisely what are their expectations in terms of their recovery, uh, in terms of their cancer cure, and also their quality of life. There's a huge spectrum for prostate cancer. We have some men that their priority is just cure my cancer and I'll deal with some of the quality of life consequences. And others will say, you know, if there is an alternative, maybe it's not as definitive at curing my cancer, but my quality of life uh, is a, of a very high priority. Uh, and so if you have simply with prostate cancer realizing that spectrum, you have, well, we can do nothing or we can do everything. Is there something in, in the middle? And because of our advances in now being able to determine pretty accurately where the aggressive cancer is, this has really opened the window to focal therapy. So it's sort of like the lumpectomy of the prostate. Can we identify the cancer? Can we destroy only that area? This has now become a, an outpatient procedure with virtually no quality of life complications. We've actually been on the forefront of using MRI to help us define where the cancer most likely exists in the prostate. And then with co-registration technology to ultrasound, uh, we're actually far more accurate uh, in identifying where the cancer is and how aggressive the cancer. I think it's important if you equip the patient with realistic expectations of the different treatment options, the patient is ultimately gonna make the best decision as they balance the risk of their disease and the risks uh, uh, of treatment. And then I think what's very important, whatever treatment they decide for prostate cancer, it's gonna require close uh, surveillance. Whether they come to me or they come to anyone on our outstanding team of providers, uh, urologists, medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, uh, they are going to really get the state of the art uh, in diagnostics and they'll get the state of the art in, in whatever treatment they decide is best for them.